Alright, in this video I'm going to do a couple examples of graphing some lines using some points and, and some slopes that you're given. So remember that the slope m is it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. If the line goes through the points x1, y1, x2, y2, you can kind of intuitively, the way I think about slope is being Sometimes people will say it's the change in y over change in x. That's with the little triangle. You can read that as change, which is rise over run. To me, the slope, once you know a point on the line, the slope to me is just like having directions to get to that next point. And as long as I'm careful, I can figure out the coordinates of that new point. And if I need to, I can even produce an equation for the line. So we'll talk about that. So in part A here, suppose we've got a line through that goes through the point 1, 2 and has a slope of 3. So let me move over uh, one unit up two units. So there's the point uh, 1, 2 <clears throat> and we know it has a slope of 3 Okay, in part A. So if this line has a slope of 3, well, usually what I used, you know, what I always do, or I'm kind of thinking in my head, I can write 3 as a fraction as 3 over 1. And again, what the numerator to me says, um, basically go up 3 units, because again, that's the change in y. And since it's positive, positive to me says go up. And then the denominator, the 1, since it's positive 1, that's the change in x. It says go up 3 units and write 1 unit. And that'll give me an, another point that's on the line. So let's see. Um, so if I were to go up, since I'm sitting at the y coordinate of 2, since if I were going to go up 3 units, I would go up to 3, 4, 5. So I'd be sitting at the, high, the y value of 5. And then it says from there, I don't put a dot there because that's, that's not where the new point is. It says, okay, go up three units, but then also go to the right one unit. Well, since I was at positive one, I'm now at positive two. So let's see, since this original point was the point one, two, and now we've got the coordinates of our new point. It looks like it would be two comma five. And now we can, again, simply just, uh, just make our graph here. Um, I don't believe this is going to go through the origin, so maybe another thing, uh, maybe I don't have the best graph here, um, but notice if you go up 3, you go right 1. Equivalently, we could say if you go down 3 units, you go left to the 1, left 1 unit. So if I go down 3 units, I would actually be down at negative 1, and then to the left would put me at, um, so the y coordinate of negative 1 and the x coordinate of 0. And then now we've got our line. Okay, and again it has a positive slope, so I know it has to be moving upwards as we go left to right. Uh, let's do this other one here real quick. We want to graph the line that goes through the point. Um, so maybe I can give myself a little more space here. Um, it, we want it to go through negative 2 comma 1, so negative 1, negative 2, and I go up positive 1 unit. Okay, and now it has a slope of negative 2 thirds. Okay, it doesn't really matter at all where you, where you stick the negative. You know, I could put the negative in the numerator, I could put it in the denominator. Um, as long as you're careful, it's, it's equivalent, you'll get the exact same graph. So to me, the way, again, I kind of interpret this slope, these directions, so now the numerator, since it's negative 2, it says go down 2 units. That's the numerator. So it says the change in y, it says negative. So to me, I say it says decrease by 2 units, the y value. And since the denominator is positive, it says go right 3 units, so in the x direction. So let's see, if I'm careful, I think again we can count. So since I'm sitting at this point, negative 2 comma 1, I'm at the, kind of like the height of, of, you know, maybe you're 1 mile or, or 1 foot above sea level, you're at the y coordinate of 1. And now it says go down 2 units or go down 2 floors, maybe you're on the first story. 
So if I go down one floor, I would be at ground level. And then if I go down another floor, I would be negative one foot down. Okay, so I've gone down two units. And now it says move to the right three units. So there's one unit, there's another unit, and I think that would put us at the y, or excuse me, the x coordinate of positive one. And I would end up with a point right there. So let's let me stick my negative one right there. So let's see, we decreased by two units, so that means the y coordinate would now be negative one. And we increased the x coordinate by one, two, three units, which would make that x coordinate um, positive one. And again, now we've got our graph. So I play connect the dots. It's definitely not going through the origin, um, so I've kind of got a, a big pin here. Um, it should definitely, you know, be crossing a little bit underneath the x-axis, or excuse me, underneath the y-axis. So a little more like that. Okay, so sorry for my poor artistry there, um, but but that's it. All right. So again, just just once you figure out your point, just think about the slope. Write it as a fraction if it's not a fraction already, like the first example. And again, I think just think about them kind of as, as being directions. And you know, if you want to, you can always plot out more points as well.